Hi guys. So today we're going to be talking about this little tiny thing here. Well, it's not that tiny, but it, you know, it's small. This was made for next generation. And this is a kind of an armband piece that, that gets strapped to your arm. And it would have two LEDs here and a switch here. This was built uh, in a, a day and a half while we were building a bunch of other stuff. We were given a drawing by Rick Sternbach and told what it needed to do and what it what it needed to have. Uh, and so we, we built this up very quickly. We needed to make three or four of these from what I remember. So when I built this, this is this piece right here is a piece of acrylic tube that was cut, you know, a piece of, of the tubing cut off so we'd have this curve to it. And then I built these wall pieces here on top of that piece so that it would, you know, have the curvature that it was necessary to, uh, to attach to an arm. Now, what you're seeing on the inside here is the clay that was used to thicken up all these areas that we that needed strength. Because eventually there would be holes drilled here and here, here and here, and we would put in a loop piece of metal into it so that the strap could go around it. But as you can see, it's, it's actually pretty simple. It's a box, uh, but with ample area in here for LEDs, maybe a little circuit board to make it flip flop and uh, a couple of button cells. Now, remember during next generation buttons, button cell batteries were not uh, used a whole lot because people still didn't trust them to have enough power unless you were putting it in like a little watch or something. So <clears throat> the only other thing I could have put in here is like a little tiny, uh, like an end cell or I could probably get two end cells in there, but not much room for anything else because end cells are pretty, pretty fat. But I actually did end up using, uh, I believe it was two coin cells in, in parallel so it was only three volts to actuate the, the LEDs. Um, I may or may not, I can neither confirm nor deny that I may have used actually two, you know, these are, these are uh, T1 LED size. Um, at the time, uh, the circuit board for a flip-flop in here would have been enormous. So in some cases, what we would do is take an LED, a self-flashing LED, and put it in line with each one of those other LEDs and use those LEDs as the flashing driver for, for the finished ones. And of course, it had a a, a, a on off slide switch on the side here and you can kind of see on the inside here maybe you can maybe you can't there's like a shadow of where we had temporarily glued in a, a switch into it so it kind of gives you the halo look to it um, and in a casting that little bit of halo would give you the, an indication of where you could drill your holes and put the screws in to hold it onto the piece. Uh, I believe the color of this piece was uh, dove gray. It may have had a little spritz of silver on it, but I really don't remember at this time. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And if you feel so inclined, please support me on Patreon. Thank you.